watching three fake news channels. Tusco the elephant was the subject of a 1962 study by University of Oklahoma School of Medicine researchers Lewis Jolion West and Chester M. Pierce. To induce must, a condition of heightened aggression and unpredictable behavior during mating seasons in certain animals, the 14-year-old Indian elephant was injected with 297 milligrams of LSD via cartridge syringe fired by Warren Thomas, the director of the Lincoln Park Zoo. This was about 3,000 times the typical human dose, or half the weekday dose of your average jam band fan, an equivalent to 30 times what a three-ton elephant would take to enjoy Dark Side of the Moon. Within five minutes, Tusco trumpeted, fell over, defecated, and started seizing. In an attempt to counteract the massive overdose, the researchers quickly injected the animal with promazine and pentobarbital, the latter still used today in lethal injections. Unsurprisingly, Tusco died. 20 years later, scientist Ronald Siegel repeated a similar experiment with two elephants, giving them each 0 0.003 milligrams per kilogram and then 0 0.1 milligram per kilogram. At the lower dose, it had little to no effect, but in the higher dose, the elephants were noticeably jovial, making chirps and squeaks before getting sluggish, aggressive, and loopy. Within a few hours, they were back to normal, albeit with a better appreciation for prog rock. Siegel determined it was likely the massive dose, paired with his heavy fall and subsequent treatment with promazine and pentobarbital that killed Tusco. To this day, Tusco's dose was the largest dose of LSD ever ingested by any animal in history. But there's a guy at the park that swears he's got a beat.